Among NTT research institutions, NTT Basic Research Laboratories is responsible for most of our research in fundamental science. In 2014, it took up the challenge of researching the unknown world of inner shell electrons. Inside an atom, inner shell electrons exist further inward than outer shell electrons. Up to now, there has been no means of observing an inner shell electron in motion. This is because inner shell electrons rotate around the nucleus at incredibly high speeds. To obtain a vivid freeze-frame photograph of a fast-moving object, a camera needs a high-speed shutter. As the speed of the subject increases, the duration of the open shutter must decrease. Similarly, we can apply a strobe light in the extreme ultraviolet region to observe an ultra-fast inner shell electron. We calculated just how short the duration of such a strobe light should be. The result was several hundred attoseconds. An attosecond is equal to 10 to the minus 18th second. If we were to write this in the form of 0, 0.00 and so on, we would need to write 18 zeros before the numeral one. This is equivalent to a billionth of a billionth of a second, an extremely short time period. We can think of this as barely an instant in time. We first constructed systems for generating a light pulse with a duration of only several hundred attoseconds. At only 192 attoseconds, we succeeded in generating the world's most advanced laser pulse. Here, we chose neon as the target because of its very stable arrangement of electrons. The attosecond pulse laser was created to irradiate neon atoms. The light emitted from the neon atoms was then analyzed with measurement equipment. As a result of this analysis, we were able to observe that an inner shell electron moved about in spherical and peanut-shaped orbitals. This was the first observation by man of the shape of inner shell electron motion. It was a moment in which something that could not be observed in the past was finally observed. Watashi NTT Basic Research Laboratories has finally been able to break into the unknown world of inner shell electrons. Going forward, we will continue our efforts in opening up new, advanced fields of research.